Hi guys, it's Panel Daddy at Panels R Us. Most of the time when we're working with panels, we're using them in a horizontal manner, like so. But occasionally, um, we might want to use them vertically. So how do we do that when we're using LED vision and a colour light card? Let's find out. Now LED vision and the colour light card are designed to have the panels working in a horizontal manner. So that's something we're just going to have to live with. The software doesn't allow for any changes there. We've got to work with it and work out how to go around it. So let's work with it. We're going to set up these two panels for use in a vertical manner. We're going to use LED vision to configure the color light. We'll use FPP and X lights to display what we want on the panel. Let's get started then with LED vision. Here we go. So here's LED vision ready to be configured. Now, because LED vision and the color light expect the panels to be horizontal, we need to set them up in that manner in here. So I'm going to set them up now. If we go for control, LED screen size and count settings, I'm going to set the width and the height as if the panel was on its side. So width for two P5s is 128. and the height is 32. There we go. And that's brought that down. Apply. And I need to set up the, the color light. It's been used previously for a different setup, um, so it's not quite right. So let's go into LED screen settings. Uh, the password, as always, is 168. There we go. So I'm going to go into just detect. There we go. Make sure we've got our color light connected properly and it can see it, which it can. I'll go into receiver parameters now and set the height and the width. So our width is 128 for two panels wide, and our height is 32. And I'm going to receive a mapping. I just need to clear that. There we go. Reset all. Right, we should be at one panel uh, with a width of 128 and a height of 32. So I'm going to push that first one now. There we go. And I'm going to push the second one. So there we go. So our color light card is now configured as if the panel was horizontal. So we can come out of there and move into FPP. So at this point, I'm gonna disconnect the ethernet cable from the laptop and plug it into the Raspberry Pi. Moving over to FPP, we can now configure the panel in there, ready for control via X lights. So if I go into input output setup, channel outputs, LED panels, and we can now configure the panel. Now, in LED vision, we saw that the panel had to be treated as if it was horizontal. But in FPP, we can treat it as if it's vertical. 
So I'm going to enable LED panel output and set the layout as one panel wide by two high. So as it really is. We've got the panel type already set and the connection is set to color light. So now looking at it from the front, we can see how we'd set up the panel. We're using the one output in uh, on the color light card. So we need to set them both for output one, which they are. And the bottom panel is the first one that's connected. So the ribbon cable is going to the bottom. So that is going to be panel one. And the one above it is going to be panel two because it's daisy chained from panel one. And we then need to make sure that the arrows are pointing in the right direction. So on the back of the panel, uh, we've got the arrows which indicate the orientation of the panels. So they are pointing up in this case or um, away from me once it's upright. So to the right, uh, my left. So uh, from the front, it's to the right. Okay. So we've got the arrows now pointing. Uh, we just click on them to rotate them. So we've got the arrows orientated as they actually appear on the panels. So I'm going to save that now. And then I scroll up to the top and restart FPPD. There we go. So we're now ready to test and make sure that FPP is outputting uh, to the panels. So I'll go into status and display testing. I'm just going to put it on a cycle of RGB all none. So that gives us red, green, blue, white and off. And I'll enable test mode. There we go, red, green, blue, white and off. So that's working. So we know that the uh, color light is being driven correctly by FPP and it in turn is driving the panels. So I'll put it onto a chase now. There we go. And we can see the chase is working as well. We can see all the, the LEDs are doing their thing. So let's leave FPP now. That's ready for us. And we'll move into x lights. If you're enjoying this video and you want to make something similar, don't forget to visit us at panelsareus.co.uk. And if you like the t-shirt, lttstore.com. So we've opened x lights. And with recent releases of FPP, of course, it's really nice and simple um, to add uh, a Raspberry Pi with panels to X lights. As long as they're on the same network, then we can just hit discover and it should find it for us. Now there seems to be a bug in it at the moment because it always gives this message, which I don't know why, because we've got no, uh, no existing controllers configured. There we go. So it's found it for us. Uh, it's got our FPP demo with its IP address and the correct number of channels for the outputs. Because it's using DDP, we didn't need to configure the input side of FPP at all. That's all done for us. All we need to do now is to set up the layout uh, and to put our matrix in there. So I'm going to go to the layout tab. I'm going to grab a matrix and drag it out. So that's roughly what our matrix looks like in terms of the size. Let's just drag that up a bit. OK, so the number of strings is the first thing that we need to set. And that's the number of pixels vertically. So in this case, we're going to be looking at 128. And our nodes per string is the number of pixels horizontally. So we're looking at 32. Our starting location is going to be top left. 
and we'll just make sure that we've set that the same in FPP. There we go, our model start top left. So that matches X lights. And then our start channel, I'm gonna click on the three dots on the right and just make sure it's set to the correct controller, which is FPP demo. And there we are, that's our matrix configured in the layout in X lights. All we need to do now is to prove that it's working correctly. So if we go to sequencer, and I'm going to start a new little sequence, which of course is going to be our trusty butterfly effect. So I'll go for animation, 20 frames per second. There we go, it's ready for us. So I'm going to grab the butterfly, drag it down. I'll just pull that out. And there we are. So that's what it should look like on the panel. And if I enable output to lights, we get nothing because we haven't set it yet. Let's just go into back into FPP and put it into bridge mode. There we go, that's now ready to receive data. So let's flip back, turn on output to lights, and there we have it. There is our vertical matrix working perfectly uh, via the color light card, FPP, and X lights on the PC. So there you go, that's how to do it. In LED vision, configure it as if it was horizontal and then set up FPP uh, with the outputs as we did uh, in the vertical manner. And there you go, you've got a vertical matrix running through a color light card. Have fun, take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye.